I'm gonna be building a end-to-end -end Friendsgiving who's bringing what Thanksgiving at form builder. So I'm really excited about this feature. I hate writing forms as a developer and this tool makes it much quicker to build those and have exactly what you need for your app. So I'm going to go into the AWS console. I am now in the Amplify console. So if you just search Amplify, you can land on this page. Then I'm going to click new app and build an app. I'm going to call it Friendsgiving. Now I'll click view app in Amplify Studio. And I'm going to go to the setup data tab. I'll add a model. It'll be called food. Each dish that somebody's going to bring is going to have a title, a person. So who's bringing it and then a category. And I'm going to make the category Ina. And this will be basically a custom field with, it. so it's going to be a category. And the values that we'll have are main side dessert, drink, and other. This will make it so that the host can make sure that all the different categories are relatively balanced. So not like everybody's bringing a dessert or a drink. I'll click save and deploy. And this is going to take a few minutes to deploy my data. Now that it's deployed, I am going to go to the UI library tab under design. So with my models, Amplify generated forms. So you don't even need to do that yourself. It just generates them. So there's a create form and an update form. I'm going to go to the create form. So I am going to first add a title. It's going to be a heading. It'll be an H2 and my text will be what are you bringing to Friendsgiving? And then I'm gonna change the title label to food. I'll change this to your name. And I'll keep the category as is and you'll see that the enums are nicely title case instead of all caps here. So I'm going to take off the clear and the cancel button. So I'm going to create a React app called Friendsgiving Tracker. I'm going to change into the Friendsgiving Tracker directory. And I'm going to switch over to this initial project setup within Studio. So if you don't have the Amplify CLI installed, go ahead and do that. I'm also going to install AWS Amplify and AWS Amplify UI React. That'll give me Amplify's JavaScript library in my app, as well as the React component. Then I'm going to open up my text editor and I'll open up my index.js file. So there will be stuff to copy and paste here for configuration purposes. So I'll paste all that in. And basically what I'm doing is tying my front end to my back end with this Amplify configure line of code. And then I am making it so that I can provide a Amplify theme for my application. So I'm going to switch back over to this tab and I'll run Amplify pull in order to pull down this studio generated app backend and my UI components and pull those into my local application. I'll get this pop up asking if I want to log in and I do. I'll answer with all the defaults here. Now in my text editor, I'm going to import my form into my app.js file. So you can see that the Amplify pull generated React components here, as well as TypeScript models for my data. I'm going to import my component and then I will render it on the page. So that's all that it took to get the form on my page was importing it and then rendering it within my app. So I could create, so I could just send this as is to friends. So if you go back into Amplify Studio and select the content tab, just from there, you can see that my data is being created. I have turkey, the person, and the category. So working form with really an import line and then 
an actual line of code. Let's make this into a full blown application though so that everybody can see what everybody's bringing. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is create a state variable to store all of my food. And I just used IntelliSense to import the use. I'm gonna do a use effect as well. I'll add an asynchronous function within there. And what I'll do is await data store dot observe query. And I imported data store from AWS Amplify. I am going to observe the query to get all of my foods back. So food is one of my data models. I created that within Amplify Studio. I'm going to watch for changes in that food. And then I'm going to do subscribe. I'll deconstruct the items and then set food with items and make sure that the get data is going to be called. So I'm going to create a div with the class name container on it. I'll come back and style all this in a minute. And what I'll start with is creating an unordered list and map through all of my food items. For each food, I'm going to loop through and return with the list item and each one's gonna need a key since it's the top level within a loop. And then I'll also render the item.person as well. So I'm rendering all the different food items that people are bringing along with the person bringing them. You can see that I went back and added a bunch more food items here. Okay, some other things that we might wanna do is categorize all the food into their categories. We'll also go ahead and hide the form after somebody submits it so that each person brings one thing only. And then finally, we'll add some styling to this. It's not gonna be the most beautiful app you've ever seen. The other thing I wanna do, the final thing, is add some theming so that we'll move to orange from the blue. So starting with the sorting by category, I am going to import the category enum. And then I am going to create a div to wrap all of this in. And what I'm gonna do is loop through all of the different categories. And I'll map through them. I'm gonna move the close of this loop to after the loop through the food. This isn't gonna be uh, interview quality code where I am trying to optimize to loop fewer times. <laughs> this is ON squared, I understand that. It's just gonna make my code a little bit simpler for the sake of the video. So what I'm gonna do here is actually turn this into a parenthesis, so it's a uh, turn here. So for each category, I'm gonna return a div with the key category. And then I am going to add a heading, which is a UI component from Amplify React. And that's gonna have the category. I forgot to close out my div there. So now what I have is I'm looping through all my categories and then all my food for each category. So I have like my mains, my sides, my dessert, my drink. And basically what I wanna do is I only want to show the list item under that category if it belongs to that category. So before this return, I'll add if item.category is equal to the category 
only then will I return this stuff. So now it's all sorted out by my means, my sides, my drinks, and other. You can set your level for your headings. So I'm going to set it to an H3 here. The other thing that I could do is I could reformat all of my categories to have to be title key. You can do a Google search to figure out how to do that pretty easily, but I'll copy and paste the code in there just for like formatting purposes. So I'm going to just take the first character, set it to uppercase, and then take the rest and make it lowercase. So now each of my categories are nicely formatted. Before here, I'm going to add So now I've got the form and I've got all of the food that people are already bringing down at the bottom. The next thing that I'm going to implement is I'm going to only show the form until I submit it once and then I'm going to show like a message like see Thursday instead. So what I'm going to do is create another state variable here. So it's going to be showing by default. And then what I'm going to do is add a turner here. So if show form is true, then I would want to show the form. Otherwise, I want to show an alert instead. And this is another Amplify UI component. And in this component, I'm going to say thanks for signing up. See you Thursday. And I'm going to set the variation to success. And then what I'm going to do is once this form has successfully been submitted, I'm going to set the show form to false. So all of my forms that are generated by Amplify Studio have these life cycle handlers built. So if I go to this form, you'll see over here that there are all the different ones and you can go into the documentation for each one of them. And I'm going to provide to my form an on success. Once the form's been successfully submitted, that takes the fields. So I'm going to set the show form to be false. So now there's the thanks for signing up to see Thursday that shows up. I'm going to put this in a form container as a styling thing. So I'm going to make it so that it only spans a certain width of the page in a second. So I'm going to go into my apps.css and just add some basic styling here. So I'm going to display all my different categories as different columns. So they all kind of line up and you can see them on one page. I'm going to center all my H2s and I am going to make it so that my page doesn't like overflow <laughs> basically. You could go the whole way and I want it to be a little bit thinner. And the same thing with my form too is I'm going to make that only take up certain parts of the page as well. The last thing that I'm going to do is create an Amplify UI theme. So I'm going to paste this in and if you want to do the same,
I am basically pasting in the sample code that's right here. So with the Amplify UI components, you can provide a theme to make it so that they look exactly the way that you want them to. The default background colors like that teal that was on the screen before, I want to make it orange because orange is very Thanksgiving appropriate. So I'll paste this in, I'll call my theme Thanksgiving, and then change the background color of my buttons to the orange color. And this uses TypeScript for the theming, so you can kind of fill it out with IntelliSense and it's not super intimidating, but you can also look it up in the documentation too. So now you can see that it's orange right there. One other quick thing that I want to do is this text is really big here. So maybe I want to make that a little bit smaller. Each of the Amplify Studio generated components has overrides. So you can provide this overrides object and then you can go into the generated component and I have this like food create form, right? And in here, you'll see that my header, which is right here, this heading, has the override prop sectional element zero. And so what I can do is I can provide the sectional element zero as my key here, and then I can override anything about it. So I'll provide an object, text align, set it to center. And my font size to 32 pixels, so it's a little bit smaller. So now it looks a little bit more presentable there. So in this tutorial, we built a form generated by Amplify Studio. Again, forms are so annoying to make, so it's so nice that there's this to generate them for you now. We created some data models, tied that data model to the form and then displayed the data on the page. We looked at theming, we looked at overrides, we looked at some of the lifecycle methods that you can add to the form. So thanks for watching. Have a happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this the week that it comes out. And if you want to learn more, head to docs.amplify.ews to read all about Amplify.